everybody, welcome back. I finally completed a journal. It's taken me quite a while to do this one, but it is here and I thought you guys might like to have a peek inside. Now this one I have named Birds of a Feather. It is a combination of kits from a lot of different designers. It's um, paper, but I've reinforced the um, spine here and I've added this little charm. And then on the back here, I've got a couple of little pockets with some stamped and also some digital images. And then a handmade card, uh, tag journaling uh, card here that's been backed with some uh, coffee dyed paper. So it's a two signature. This is a six and a half by nine and a half. And it's got over 216 page, pages. So this is. It's been a long time since I've made one um, this size, and in fact, I'm not even sure I ever have filled one with this much. Um, just going through my stash, clearing out, which is why I said this is a lot of different designers that coordinated, I thought, nicely. And I don't know if I told you the name of it is uh, Birds of a Feather, and this little image here. So inside, <clears throat> I've left the front cover blank and just added, this is a vintage, um, I wouldn't say vintage, I would say this is a retro uh, book label because it's 1986, but I acquired these a while back <laughs> and I just came across them when I was packing and, and thought I would add that. And I'll, so there's room here, you could add a pocket, but it was getting so full. And I've just laid these, um, I've got some vintage receipts and things. These are all French. This is 1943. And I'm just going to leave these loose. Um, this is 1913. This is like a check. And then um, just various labels so that you could use them either in the journal or in another project. And I, um, there's a, there, those are duplicates, but I've got so many of them. I thought, well, I'll just, I'll just add these in so you could do what you wanted with it. So here on the front, I've made a pocket here. And this is just a little... Um, cap kits and like a mailer you can do some writing I just thought these were really cute so it's a, a big a very much a mix of florals and uh, nature and vintage <laughs> it's I've kind of combined all of it here so I probably won't pull everything out um, this is a card I've made with some modeling uh, paste and then this is a little crochet flower this is a snippet pocket old uh, vintage book pages in this vintage receipts and um, then some altar paper clips there's quite a few of the altar paper clips in here stenciled throughout um, here's another little floral postcard. You could either use it in here, you could send it to a friend. More tags here. And then this is a very old little uh, Kodachrome souvenir from France. And then this is a um, fuel ration book. And this is in perfect condition. Um, I've tucked that in here. And just various things. Coffee dyed paper, tea dyed. Um, I've got snippet tabs. Let me just zoom up. Sorry, guys. So you can see all of it. So a lot of writing space. A little pocket here. And um, little snippets. I've done tutorials on these. 
So another little a journal within a journal here with scrap papers. This is one of the pockets I made out of the baking paper with the doily inside of it. And then this is another book page pocket. Isn't that beautiful? I love how that uh, card came out. Another little altered paper clip. This is a souvenir um, photo from France, probably, I don't know, 1940s maybe. That's the center of the signature. I've got avocado dyed paper. Um, these are some digital with the avocado. This is the 1909 uh, ledger paper. I've added that in there. And a couple more journal cards there. So it is a big journal. And it is chunky. Little uh, snippet with charm and bulk pen and things. And this is some very old ledger paper. It's very hard to find any that hasn't been written on, so that's a really nice piece. And then this one's just got various um, things in here. This is like a little notepad, and this is opens up so you can do a lot of secret writing. And then on the back here, <clears throat> another snippet pocket, another one of those crocheted. And then I've just added <clears throat> one of the fabric postcards that's been backed with an index. And then this little snippet, um, bit of ephemera, you could do some more writing on that. So it is very full. Here we got a little flip out with a pocket on the back and this journaling card. This is uh, where I stamped on some canvas, so you got a fabric pocket here and then I added that little snippet fabric belly band with a journal uh, t uh, altered tag. And this is a vellum pocket and another handmade tag. I love how that came out. So yeah, uh, fabric ruffle. I tried to add quite a bit of the fabric ruffle throughout so you can see all sorts of little places for you to, um, to write on. Ooh, I hope that hasn't gotten stuck. It has. Ah, no, it came out good. <laughs> so this is just a little uh, pocket that I've attached to that um, dictionary page. Very, that's a vintage one as well. And then again, another one of the little souvenir photos. little tag tucked in that pocket and then just more bits throughout it. <coughs> Another uh, tag that I made. I love how that came out. And then this is that ledger, the 1909 um, ledger. Another little altered paper clip, and I just added this little piece of uh, extra bit of, it's a, well, it's a coffee dyed index card, and I thought we could do some journaling in that. Whoops. I'll have to put it back now or I'll forget where it goes. Another couple of pockets here with tags. Um, and that's the center of the second signature. And then this one flips over. So you've got a journal card in here.
So a lot of the stuff that's bulked it out could be taken out if if you um, if you've got things that you want to add yourself, then you can um, use these bits. This is a fabric tag that I made with a little snippet. So you could use these in other journals. And then this is another little altered tag that I made. This is a um, book page pocket that I've uh, decoupaged on. This is another pretty little tuck spot I made. And again, this is a vintage playing card. Another little tuck spot here with, with a few more journal <clears throat> cards that I had in my stash. Fabric ruffle here. And then this is uh, one of the tutorials I did. This is a little window pocket journal card. So you can do some journaling on the back of that. I won't take it off. But... And then here is just a couple, another altered paper clip with an old um, vintage receipt. And this one is 1884. Look at how beautiful. French. This all came from that. Uh, I bought a job lot of old receipts, and I've just been using them. And it's um, I've still got quite a few, which is great. It's it was a really good purchase. I had a heap of them. <laughs> so here I've just added one of the little button cards. So this really, this journal, guys, has got a lot of the elements that I have in the past done tutorials on, and. During the clear out, I've just run across them, and so that's why this one is probably chunkier than well, it is chunkier than than what I would usually make. But my thinking was, whoever buys this, they can take it out and use it in other journals. But it is um, this coin envelope, so you, there's nothing in there, so you can see it's it's a big one. Okay, guys, this is in there. Um, <clears throat> And uh, this is going to be the last journal for some time, so um, that's why I have just put so much into it, because um, it's, it's just a clear out. So I hope you guys have enjoyed that, guys. If you're interested in this journal, there's a link to my shop below where you can go check it out, and I will <clears throat> see you guys very soon.